This is the best blitz in Madden 23 right now, and I don't think it's actually particularly close. It comes to us out of the 46 playbook. We're going to show it to you against the U-Trips meta because it's going to show you the best bat, different types of blocking uh, formulas that your opponent can kind of use. And the defense is the dollar three two. Now, Dez used this defense to win a belt. This defense is loaded with a lot of power. And what makes this defense so good is the fact that it is based around a blitz that is very difficult for your opponent to block. What we want to do is we want to go into our auto alignment. We want to turn this to base. Now, if you want to get my full dollar three two defensive ebook, make sure you check out the Patreon. Um, you join the Patreon. That's where you get all my ebooks, all my updates, everything. We're dropping a brand new defense uh, this week as well for you guys. We've got a full dollar uh, defense in there already, and we're going to be revamping or updating that ebook for you guys the next couple of days. This defense right now, I think, is the best defense in the game because. It literally, um, there's so much we can do with it, and that's what makes it so powerful. So let's get on the field. I want to break the blitz down for you. Um, really important. Here's the setup. You want to be base aligned, and then what you want to do, in my opinion, is you want to go ahead and crash your line down a couple times. By crashing your line down a couple times, what will happen is if you stand about right here, you're going to get double edge pressure at the quarterback. Now, what this allows you to do from a schematic perspective is let's say we want to get pressure, but we want to drop some coverage on the right side of the field, for example. We could do something um, you know, that looks like this uh, to the right side of the field. So we drop this slot corner off the, off the back side here, and what you'll notice is this little foreman, as long as I can get that guard's attention, that foreman is going to scream off of that left edge, and now they're going to have to block a running back uh, to be able to defend that. The same thing is true if I wanted more coverage um, on, on that side. So let's say that I wanted more coverage on the left side to take away the quick throw of the running back or something like that. You know, we want to go to a defense that looks kind of like this, and what you're going to notice is same basic principle. That thing's going to scream off that right edge super, super fast. Now, this blitz works best if you are base aligned and pressed. And I want to clarify, you want to crash your line down a few times because when you crash your line down a few times, you're going to get a lot more consistent edge rush animations that are going to then open up the passing um, and make it very, very difficult to be picked up. This blitz is really hard to be picked up with a blocked running back. So what you're going to see here, I'm going to block my running back. This actually was able to pick this up, but a lot of times, I'm just telling you from a personal experience, it's not super consistent to pick this blitz up. Now, the other thing that's really good about this is you go ahead and let's say you notice that they're going to block their running back a lot. We're going to go ahead and blitz that extra linebacker. What you'll notice is this pressure will become 100% consistent. When you send six and they block six, you get a guy free. When you send five and they block five, you get at least one guy free. When you send six at seven, okay, I'm sending six, they're blocking seven. Sometimes you can get a guy free and they get these glitchy sheds as well that are gonna make it so that your opponent has to get rid of the ball. By speeding up our opponent, we can then change our adjustments behind the blitz to make this really, really, really powerful. So we can do different adjustments with our zones, different adjustments with our man ups. And as you can see, if we can force the issue from a pressure perspective, we can play some really good defense with this dollar. Uh, my favorite thing to do is to back off these corners because I think it makes a super, um, you know, little disguise to the coverage. And it kind of gives the illusion that they're not going to have anything deep down the field. And then we can go ahead and play some hard flats. And at the right time, you'll see here that these hard flats will lurk these underneath routes. So this is one, this is, in my opinion, the most dominating defense right now in Madden 23. And it's because of the fact that we get these really, really glitchy uh, blitzing angles. So love dollar right now. If you're not using dollar, I'd encourage you to at least learn it um, because it is definitely the number one defense competitively right now. If you want to learn how to run the defense, jump in the Patreon. The link is in the description. That's where you get all my eBooks, all my updates, any new eBooks. We're dropping a brand new eBook this week for you guys around some of the stuff we're talking about in this video. So make sure you're in there. Um, head down to the description below. And if you want to go sign up, click the link down below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you over at the Patreon page.